you don't have a mic. So he's building and he's deploying at the same time. So it's actually putting the game. Hopefully it will work. Question. <laughs> <laughs> will it work? <laughs> will it work? Oh man, that's a good question. Yes. Does the XNA support multi-threaded parameters? That's a very good question. Um, so, if you ask game developers in general, professional game developers, they do not use multi-threaded in their games. Because multi-threaded is a big problem. Uh, when you have too many things happening at the same time, that's the reason why there's a single loop of big draw, big draw, big draw. It's because of the problem of multi-threading. It will support it, because it's supported in C Sharp or in the managed code. So you can actually do it. Uh, I would not recommend that you start doing it. I was at GameFest actually, and there were professional developers attending session on how to de develop games multi-threaded. So it's something that is, even in the professional industry, is not even really well uh, well done at this point because of you know it's, it's, you could have something happening. Let's say you have a, an enemy AI moving, and if you're actually moving, well, who shoots first and who does what? Uh, that's that's part of the problem. Let's go. It was working in a second. Another question, I saw another hand there. Uh, so we're gonna have to have a connection to uh, to live play the game. So to play the game, you need connection to Xbox Live. I think you do, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they have to validate with the uh, Gamers Club, the fact that you're a member of Gamers Club. Let's start with you and then we'll do you. Yes. Is there a way to handle the testing of the guide button on the Xbox like controller and the SK on the PC? You know what? I've never tried it. <laughs> Let me check. Let's see if I do... Uh, oh, okay. Oops. I didn't know. No, don't do that. It's not it's not it's 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 yeah. Let's see. Oh. Game had... So buttons, we have so we have A, B, back, left shoulder, left stick, right shoulder, right stick, start, X and Y, no. Not at this point. Unless there's a workaround, I'll, I can find out, but at this point, this isn't it? Oh, sorry, sorry about that. That's my fault. John is better at the question than I am, so I should get into your question. So. Uh, the question was, uh, is there any way through the XNA framework to access the guide button, or if you want the big... Yay! <laughs> it's actually accessing the guide, which is this uh, round ball in the middle there, uh, which actually brings up the guide when you're on an Xbox 360. Is there a way of reading this through the uh, XNA framework on Windows, for example, or if you're deploying it through Xbox at this point, no. Or I it's not listed in a class. So. While it's deploying the content, because there's lots of content in this game, yes? Um, what's the point behind the game services? So game services is, uh, is, is actually, uh, the, the graphics of Azure, for example, is in there. There's a whole bunch of services that you access through that game services. But you get, for example, your graphics device of Azure. So you can get at a lower level at different things like depth, all those things I said that you don't want to start learning right at, up front with DirectX, they're still there. So you want to be able to access them, they're access to that game services class. Yes, I forgot you. When you, uh, when you were working with the uh, thing in the background and you had your sprites and one that back background and another, 22 separate batches, maybe even if they were in the same batch, bad things would happen? What would happen? <laughs> I'm trying to recall because I tried it the first time and I had a problem. Uh, I think they blend. I think what happens. We can try it after. I'm trying to remember it. Oh. Okay. Yay! Woohoo! Actually, you have to see it. And I, we're actually going to show you both. So let's go to the retro. This is the original 1962 Space War game. So I'm player two. And Jelly is going to hit the star. And he's dead! Are you here? Are you here? Oh, there you go. 
Oh, I kill you. No, you kill me. So the principle of this game is that this car is actually an attraction. So you notice that as we get closer, we change angles. And, that's, and you can actually walk also, so if you have the left some suggestions. So this was the original 1962 game. And, and by the way, again, I apologize it's an LCD screen. The folks, uh, because we wanted to keep the, uh, the white, white uh, it doesn't really show a good example of it. If you play it on a real screen, uh, you'll get much better effect with the white. So let's go hit start, and let's go back to the Evolve version. And this is where it gets really cool. <coughs> So we hit Evolve, and now we have 3D. Wow. So, uh, Jean-Luc is actually, are you on the left or on the right? Yeah, so you're the, on the left, I'm on the right. <laughs> so, you can see that I can actually change the ship, so you can choose one of the ships available, you can actually change the color. The ship, I'd like to look that, that one. Okay, so once you do that, you hit Select, and this is the 3D version. Look at that. With asteroids coming. Still attractions from the sun. It's actually the same code behind it, by the way. Uh, you behind it, you get more online. <laughs> now, the nice thing is, you see there's a round time, and that's because they made a nice and instant to you, too. That's going to be what you're going to see in a sec. Okay, so we have $200,000. You can actually buy weapons now. See? So now we can buy this PDP one just like selecting it. Now I have a weapon. Now the nice one is the big, the uh, BFG. Everybody knows what that is. It's actually the name of that weapon. So now actually our weapon is actually stronger. You know, the, the bullets are bigger. And uh, there's actually a guided missile, and there's a whole bunch of things that are pretty neat. So this is this game comes from free with all the models, all the texture, all the source code. You can actually go out and change it, modify it. There's both a Windows version and a Xbox <laughs> version. You're killing me while I'm just looking. Trying, he's not even succeeding. <laughs> so. This is running on an Xbox 360, so we were successful. I'm really glad that we were successful at showing you this. Yes? Um, we just have the binary format for uh, compiling all the models. Yeah, the content, yeah. yeah. Um, is, there, um, is, there, is that protected, or is there, is there any way to compile it for people to compile it? So, I don't know if we published the XMD format, that's the name of the format, the binary format when it's compiled and compressed, but before we compress it to that format, you can actually take hold of it, the processor step, and it changes whatever code you want. So you can actually have your own processor, your own custom processor of how you're doing it uh, as well. Okay, so let me switch back to my screen. And uh, I just want to show you very quickly uh, 3D. Uh, 